Hello, Frugal Force. Once again, this is Captain Frugal reporting for duty, and I want to talk about a hot button topic which you probably already know about, but I want to give my thoughts on this too. And first, I'd like to start by saying congratulations to Richard Meyer for his Jawbreakers Lost Soul graphic novel with the artwork done by John Malin, and uh, you know, also, I guess, our alternative cover by Ethan Van Skyver. And, great colors in other words i'd just like to congratulate everybody on that project as well as everybody who has so far not so far it's done who has supported it congratulations on reaching 197,595 us dollars raised that is an amazing feat considering this book has had no mainstream push whatsoever from any comics you know area of journalism completely on its own saying that the market is demanding an alternative now here's the issue i have too now after all this if you notice that the, the it's been very silent for the opposition which is unusual with this group but it was i believe on purpose and i think it's been noted at that point they've been secretly behind the backs trying to stop the publication of this book and then try when they fail at that to stop the sales to getting in the comic shops so i also want to take a good moment to say a big congratulations to Antarctic Press as well to have the gall to say, you know what, we're going to publish this thing because I'm sure there's been push to get them to stop. I, I'm certain of that, to not publish this book. This is a dangerous precedent. Think about this. We're at a time where you can make a book called The Pervert and have it with animals having sex acts against each other, but you can't have a book that's suitable for almost all ages there's none of that garbage in this there's no politics but this is the one they want to ban think about that this is purely a retaliatory action for them not getting their way the sjw's are in full force and attack they have comic shops that are going to refuse people's orders for this book now they have every right to do so okay don't shoot me down for this yet they do but here's my thought. If that's the business practice you're going to use, how is that going to be in your future? Remember, these are the same group that would sit there and pitch a fit if a company would say, we're not going to make a wedding cake for a gay couple. But yet, they'll turn around and they're fine with this. It shows the complete hypocrisy of this particular group. It, it's not about right or wrong with them. It's about their way. It's they want control. And they're going to do everything they can to gain control. They, can, they can't stop you at the publication. They're going to stop you at the outlets. You can buy it. And that's a dangerous thing because maybe that's the only way a person could have bought that book. They're going to deny them that. Also, knowing that it's on the shelves, it can gain more attention. And that's what they want to do. They want to shut you down. If you have a different voice, they don't want to hear from you. This group has been pushing and pushing and doing this on their own. And I applaud them for that. I've had the fortunate uh, ability to be able to speak with many of them. Or some of them, not many. I've talked several times with Ethan Van Skyver. We've done live streams together, too. Uh, I've also, with John Malin, excellent guy, by the way. Uh, you know, all this crap that's been said about him and the others is, is complete baloney. They sit there and, and be called an extremist and, and things like that, that they're being called and a Nazi and things. No, there is none of that. I have met the man. There is nothing there of that. He's a good guy. I look very forward to reading this book with my kid. Matter of fact, I'm going to be buying some extra copies from my comic shop. I'm going to be ordering them as soon as I can to either give them away and things and support this cause. And here's the kicker. I know uh, this is the movement is now you know done technically on Indiegogo, but it is not done. Here's what I suggest. You want to support this. Let's, let's show the market. Let's show these companies what they really are. Go to your local comic shop. Order a copy for yourself. Okay, because if you already got it, you're going to get the special Ethan Van Skyver cover, but I want the, also, I want the John Malin cover too, anyway. But what, let's show them our dollars mean something. Let's continue on this. I got no nothing to gain in, in this. I'm not getting any money for this. It's not an advertisement. But my point is this. We are the consumer base. They have proven that they don't give a crap about the consumer. Without that, they will fail. This will create openings. That's one of the great things about capitalism. It will take care of this it will correct itself so let's show them if we continue to show them hey we want our three dollars or whatever to go to this kind of book we want 
we're going to show that market and it's going to continue to make it grow and this is our opportunity now so i strongly suggest that continue to show your support this is frugal force approved if you will i look forward to it and i i tell you I, I think big things, I, this is only the first step. If we could continue and keep this momentum, we can change the industry. We have the ability. That's what a lot of these people don't realize. Your dollars, our views do change industries. You can see this is the smallest little thing. I remember many, over 30 years ago, I think it was over 30 years ago, the, there was a soda pop vending machine and they raised the price one day and a bunch of the people I worked for there, and I didn't buy soda either, uh, I'm not a soda drinker, but uh, they all grimaced. Oh, man, they raised the price. I said, don't buy it. They're like, well, what do you mean? I said, if you don't buy it, they're going to change the price back because they're going to want to sell soda pop and make money. And you watch. I got them to stop buying it for two weeks. And guess what? That price changed. It was reduced again back to what its original price was. We have the power, people. We have the opportunity to make this change. If we don't like the market, we can change it with our dollars. And we are starting to do that. Even against all opposition and blockade without getting any publication, any press, and if anything negative is all they get they still found that this has an insurmountable market it was done without saying sjw's would hate this book it was done completely on merit of this is the product this is what it looks like what do you think now granted i'm, I'm not ignorant there is spite buys there there's some f the man kind of buys to this you know going against the grain i'm sure but that's where i said it can't stop we have to go and request it at the comic shops and here we are, when the next product comes. Because you know something next is going to come next, right? It's got to. We have to continue to support that too. We can show that this market is strong. We can get it where we want it to be. And then all the naysayers, we're going to disprove them. Because now all this push for SJW books, they've proven they don't buy the books. The sales have proven that. We have to prove we're not that way. We're more than talk. We buy. And I know you guys do. I see your pictures of it. You're buying. We talk about the books. And that is absolutely amazing. You are all amazing. So let's keep this drive alive and let's keep going. And once again, congratulations to for Jawbreakers. And, and let's keep this going. Good job, guys. You deserve it. Well done. And until next time, keep it frugal.